We can spend over 40 hours in our cubicles, and sometimes those spaces are dark and depressing, and we don't put any style into them. But there's no reason why your workspace can't be as warm and inviting as your living room. So I am here to do some cubicle makeovers and create zen-like, creative, inspiring spaces for you. This is Cube Takeover. I'm Ricky, and I work as the programming coordinator here for Food Network Digital. The thing I would say I hate most about my current workspace is there is no personality here. It's basically just a random collection of things that I've gathered over the last year. When I look in his cube, I don't get a sense of who he is. He has some really cool stuff, but it's just like thrown up there. He hasn't really thought about it. Three words that would describe my aspirational style are Kim, Chloe, and Courtney. I love the Hollywood Regency look just classic glamour. But I would love my cube to just be the place where I can feel like it's my space. It's my little nook. It fits me. So I'd love to see like something that reflects his personality. The most important things for me at my desk are my bamboo plant. Don't love the container that it's in, but my mom actually got it for me as a congratulations gift when I first got my job. The other thing that I definitely would love to keep in my cube is the picture of my family. Take the skull and burn it. Now that I understand Ricky's style and his needs, I'm ready to get him out of his cubicle so I can infuse his space with the Hollywood Regency vibe of his dreams. One of Ricky's design dilemmas is having rogue kitchen items everywhere, so we want to corral it all in one clean space. I got a couple of trays and some new kitchenware for him in his color palette to black and white stripes and polka dots. We'll bring in the pizzazz with the gold. Thank you. I found these cool gold sea urchin looking items in a store, but I also have made them myself, and you can too by checking out my video on HETV Handmade. They're gonna bring the perfect amount of Hollywood Regency glam into this space. Gold flatware makes any space just a little bit fancy. Go Ricky, go Ricky. I wanted a nice clean desk organizer for Ricky in just white, but I didn't find that in the office section. So I checked out the bathroom section and I found this makeup organizer. No one's gonna know the difference and it's in the exact color scheme that I want. So think outside the box when you're looking for decor pieces. It's a little hectic right now. We have all hands on deck. Ricky is on his way back. Making it work, I love it. Little girl. Cannot wait to get Ricky in here and see his response. I think he's gonna love it. Look at the impact this is gonna have. I hope you're gonna like it. You gave such awesome inspiration that okay. it was very fun for me, but I just hope you like it as much as I do. I'm sure I will. Oh my God. No way. You guys, this is so perfect. Oh my God, this is amazing. Look at this. That. Absolutely love the clock and this, or like all the organizational stuff down here. Right? The background of my computer, <laughs> everything. It's all perfect. Get in there. I love it so much. Um, no. Yes. So this is your kitchen here. Literally a full kitchen. Right? Stuff. You have it's a kitchen. Crazy. Obviously your family, the most important thing. And I love that you found a place for the bamboo, but you found like such a better container for yes, it. Yes, you said you love the bamboo for yes. your family, but you did not love the vessel. I don't know how you thought up all of this, but it's perfection. It oh. really is perfection. I love every single detail. Well, I'm so happy you so love great. it. Well, thank you so oh, much. You are so <laughs> happy. It's been such a pleasure doing this. Like, it's oh, been well, so I'm much so fun. happy to see you happy. Oh. You've taken up enough of your time, so you get to work, and Perfect. I'm gonna go crash another cube. All right. All right. All right. Thank bye, you. Hun. See ya.